Hi and welcome again to 5 minute rivet. Uh, today we will see how it work uh, the column, the structural column with the grids. Uh, like I said last time, it's very important that uh, the uh, that the uh, that the project contain the uh, the grids element because uh, we uh, we we use grids in a beam project by uh, in a beam project by using a rivet tool as uh, the outering tool and uh, the powerful stuff that we have in a rivet it's the uh, the relationship between uh, the elements like uh, when we say relationships between the elements uh, we talk about uh, the datum uh, element that establishes this relationship for example you see here i have uh, i have this column that's host in this hosted in this intersection uh, between these grids uh, the, if for example i move here the grids it's move the uh, column here and if i move here the grids it's move this column here this is the one of a lot of benefit in uh, using uh, a rivet as a beam tool um, let's uh, let's uh, dive in uh, how we can uh, benefit from the grids uh, to uh, place a column in a rivet project for example if i want to place a structural column i go to structure and the structure i click on column and I go here in the property and choose here the, uh, for example, concrete uh, rectangular column, and I choose like 24, uh, 24, 30. And when I want to place it, I can, for example, come here and place it here. But this is imagine if escape a couple of time. Imagine if you uh, you are in a big project and you you need, for example, uh, to place uh, hundreds of columns in a project and uh, you don't have uh, much time. This is when it's come to place uh, uh, to place a column on intersection of grid. How we will do that? Let's uh, uh, draw some some uh, some extra grid here. Like last time we 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 we. we we uh, we seen how to uh, to place uh, a grids in a traditional way. This time we will uh, just uh, copy uh, what we have as a grid. For example, I have this one. I selected this one. I go to architect. Uh, sorry, I go to uh, modify here and I go to copy. And in uh, option bar here, I choose multiple and uh, I choose also constraint here. For example, I came here and I continue to copy because I chose a multiple, okay? You get that? Now I go here. Now, escape couple time. I came here uh, in this in this grid, for example, this one, sorry. And I will go to copy here. Make sure in the option bar here, I have both selected. And I go from here to here and continue, okay? Uh, before I continue, you see Revit continue with the uh, with the letters uh, sequence. What I do, I will just click here, and I put three, for example, and I continue. Select this one, go here to copy, and I make sure that I have here constraint and multiple selected, and I came here and I continue. Okay, okay, I take it's enough here escape a couple of time okay now I just delete this for example this grids here okay sorry this columns here and now what I do to place the grids in all this intersection okay I go to column here and uh, instead of placing one by one I said at the grids here you see here at grids okay and I just select the grids okay you see here the preview and then finish it escape couple of time et voila I have here all my columns placed if I go to my 3d you will see here all the grids place it in here in this floor okay 
I hope this video help you understand how to take advantage of grids in Revit.